Okay, so today we are going to read Following Papa's Song, and we are going to do an oil pastel silhouette craft along with it. So this is Following Papa's Song, and it's by Gianna Marino. At dawn, Little Blue nuzzled alongside Papa and asked, is it time? Listen for the other whale, said Papa. When you hear their call, we'll know it's time to go. Little Blue listened to the peaceful quiet that whispered through the morning sea. Papa asked Little Blue, are we going very far? Yes, Little Blue. We will travel farther than we have ever gone before. But Papa, how will we know which way to go? We'll follow the song of the whales, Little Blue, just like our family has for years upon years. Papa moved off with a sweep of his tail and Little Blue wiggled to follow. Papa said, Little Blue, how do you swim so fast? When you are big, Little Blue, your tail will carry you quickly too. When I am big, Papa, will I still hear your song? Yes, Little Blue, if you listen closely, you will always hear my song. Little Blue heard a sound from far off and said, I hear the other whales, Papa, I hear them. Yes, Little Blue, now it's time to begin our journey. Papa's voice echoed across the sea, though the liquid light in deep into the mysterious black. Little Blue followed Papa song and asked, what's there, Papa, where we can't see? Ahead is our summer feeding ground, Little Blue, and below us is a magical world, said Papa, but far below us, it is very dark. As they traveled, Little Blue dreamed of what lay below and saw flashing darkness. With a swoosh of his tail, Little Blue followed the flickering light and dove down into the cool water. Everything was magical, just like Papa said. Little Blue went deeper, far below. It was cold and dark and silent. Papa, where are you? cried Little Blue. But Little Blue's small voice was lost in the darkness. Then Little Blue remembered what Papa said and listened. Little Blue. Little Blue followed the path of Papa's song and rose up from the deep. Together they soared into the light and sang Papa's song across the evening sea. Okay, so now we're gonna do our oil pastel craft. So this craft is gonna look similar to this page in the book because we have the whale silhouettes. So this is Papa and this is Little Blue. And we're gonna have a silhouette of Papa and Little Blue. And we're gonna draw the yellow and the blue and the green outside of Papa and Little Blue. So I'm gonna switch over to my other camera, but you can still watch my face while I'm doing this craft. Okay, so we're gonna do our crafts. You can see my camera over here. And we need our oil pastels and you need your piece of paper with your whale silhouettes on it of Papa and Little Blue. So you're gonna open up your oil pastels and these shouldn't be too messy. Um, but you're going to want to not put your hands all over the place when you're done doing this. And inside your box is also going to be a paper towel. This is for later, um, but don't throw it away. You do need it for later. You set it to the side. So you're going to open up our oil pastels. So we're not going to need all of these colors. We're going to need white. We need yellow. We need green. 
And we also need blue. So there's two blues here. There's a light blue and a dark blue. We're going to use the dark blue, but feel free to use the light blue if you want. OK, so you can set the rest of these to the side. And you won't need them, but you can always use them in other crafts too. OK, so we're going to start with the white. So this might seem pointless at first um, because we're just going to be scribbling white on white. Um, but in the end, when we blend all the colors together, it's really going to help make the color stand out and outline the whales. OK, so we're going to take our white and you're just going to do little tiny scribbles all along the outside of the big whale and the small whale. So you're just going to go up and down all along the edge. And you're not going to be able to see it very well. But if you look very closely, there is white there. So you want to do it all around the big whale and the small whale. And it's completely OK if it gets on the whales, because we can always wipe it off at the end. So you're just going to go scribbling around all around. And while we're doing this, we're going to start our discussion. So this craft was done over two weeks because it does take a little bit longer. So instead of three questions, there are six questions. So the first set of questions is about the topic of being lost and not understanding. So our first question for that is, what is your family's favorite song? Do you have a song you like to dance to or sing together? or just a song you really like. So you can answer that with your family or your friends, or you can just think about it with yourself. And our second question is, how do you think little Blue felt when he was lost? Probably felt scared, maybe he felt unsure. Okay, when you finish the big whale, you can move over to the smaller whale and we're gonna do the same thing. Little scribbles are on the outside. And our third question is, have you ever felt scared to ask a question like Little Blue was? And do you want to ask it now? So maybe you were scared to ask something or you didn't understand something, but now you wanna ask it. Okay, so if you're still doing the white outlines, you can pause the video and continue coloring and discussing the questions, or you can go ahead and continue along if you're done. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our yellow pastel. We still need our white one, so don't put it away. And you're going to do tight uh, zigzags all around the edge. So you're going to start in the white that we just did, and you're going to make them about one and a half inches tall. So you can see my yellow right here. It's kind of hard to see. And you're going to go all around in a big circle. And don't forget to turn your paper as you're going because that'll help you a lot. So I'm turning my paper as I go. I'm just making a big circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you're going to go all the way up to the white. So you might have to go taller in some areas, like under the fins, because there's more space there. But you want to go all the way up to that white so that when you blend all the colors together, the yellow blends into the white. Turn in your paper. And don't forget to go into the part right here. We're almost done. OK, so we just finished doing our big yellow circle. You need more time, that's OK. You want to make sure you got all the way up to the white in all the spaces. See, so this is maybe I need to put a little more there because it's not at the white. Okay, so we just finished our yellow circle. And again, you can pause the video if you need to. Okay, so we're gonna put our yellow pastel away for now and we're gonna take back 
our white pastel, and we're gonna do a tiny little zigzag all around the edge of the yellow. So again, you're not gonna be able to see this very well, but this is just gonna help blending. So I'm gonna fast forward this part, but if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Okay, so I just finished a white zigzag all the way around the yellow. It's kind of a short zigzag. It's about that big. Okay, so next you're gonna put down your white pastel. Don't put it away yet though. And you're gonna get out your green pastel. So now you're gonna do basically the same thing you did with your yellow. And it might be getting too tall, so that's okay. You can just go right off your page and the green can be the outer color on the top and the bottom if you have run out of space for that. So we're gonna do nice big zigzags and do the same thing, so all around. And keep turning your paper as you go. That's gonna help you keep the zigzags going the same direction. And if you get some on your table or wherever you're working, it should wipe off fairly easy because uh, these are oil pastels and they wipe off pretty easy. So when you get to the edges, like I have here, you wanna leave some space around the very edges so that we have room for one more color. Keep turning your paper as you go. Okay, and while we're doing this, we're gonna start on our next discussion questions. So the next topic is trusting without knowing what's gonna happen. So our first question is, what do you like about the ocean? I like going in the ocean. I like playing on the beach. I like seeing all the pretty fish and the coral. But you can discuss with your family or your friends or just think about it, about what you like about the ocean. Okay, and our next question is, who do you trust? And you can just think about this or again, talk with your family or your friends. And you could think about why do you trust them too? Because little blue trusts his papa that about going in the ocean, about their long trip. Okay, so we just finished doing our green. And if you haven't finished it, you can pause the video to continue. And now you're gonna take your white again, and you're gonna do a little zigzag around the outside of the green. If you reach the edge of your paper on some parts like I did, you don't have to do the white on that part. Just a little zigzag. It's okay if it blends into the green a little bit. And the last question is, have you ever had to trust someone without knowing what would happen? Just like Little Blue had to trust his papa about going on their long trip, and you might have had to trust someone about something that you didn't know what would happen in the end. You can think about how that ended up and maybe it was a fun experience in the end too. Okay, when you've done your white all around, now we're gonna get our blue. So remember there's a light blue and a dark blue, we're using the dark blue. And now you're gonna go all the way to the edge on all your edges. So you're gonna do zigzags all the way to the edge, wherever that is. So whatever edge space you have left, that's what you're gonna zigzag in. So you have some space right here. So I'm gonna start with the zigzag. I'm gonna start at the white that I just did. I'm gonna continue going in the circle and turning my paper. And if there's some spots it doesn't fit, that's okay. You can just skip those spots. Keep going around. So you'll probably have space in the sides, but maybe not in the middle part. I'm gonna reach all the way to the corner so we don't have too much white space left. Okay, so see, I don't have space for blue right here. So maybe I'll just turn my paper and go to the other edge and do the same thing. Again, if it gets on your table, because it might, you can just wipe it off with a wet paper towel or washcloth. 
doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going around the edge with zigzags. You might have to get bigger zigzags in the corners. Okay, we have finished. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our other pastels and we're gonna do big green zigzags now. So we're gonna take our green and we're gonna start in between our yellow and our green and we're gonna do big zigzags like this. This is gonna help blend in our colors. See, big zigzags, we're going into our yellow and into our green. You don't want too many zigzags, but you want some big ones. Okay, and now we're gonna take our green again and we're gonna do the same thing into our blue. So into our blue and into our green. So this is gonna help all our colors blend together in the end. You wanna put a fair amount of green in the blue. Okay, so now our oil pastel art looks kind of crazy. So now we're gonna blend it all together and it's gonna end up really good. So you can put away your pastels. We're done with them for now. If you have any empty colors or spaces, you can go ahead and fill those in if you want, but the blending is really gonna help bring this all together. So from earlier, we had this paper towel. Um, this is just a paper towel that's been cut in half um, vertical. So it was about this wide. Um, and I cut it in half down the center. And then I just five folded it. So what that means is I folded a triangle to the edge and then I folded it again and I kept folding it until we reached the end. So the reason we have this is for blending. Um, you can also use your fingers, but this just keeps it cleaner because as you can see, this can get kind of messy. It does wipe off easily, um, but it's just better to not get it all over the place. So you're going to start in the center, anywhere you want, and you're going to brush all the way out and you're going to smear it. You want it smeared. You're going to smear. Keep turning your paper towel so that you don't get the old colors in the new spot. We're smearing outward. You can turn your paper as you're doing this. And it's starting to look really blended. See? You can see this part is really blended together. You want it to look like it's part of one ocean and all blended together. And then you can use your finger instead or your paper towel. Both will work equally fine. And you want to make sure you're going from the center out. You don't want to go outside in. Keep turning your paper. And if your paper towel gets messy and starts bringing some of the blues or greens into your yellow, you can turn it inside out. So unfold it and take the corner and fold it in a triangle. So you're an opposite flag, fold it. So that you have a new clean white paper towel. Okay, and you really want to get these green zigzags to be pinned in. And keep going around from the center out. Keep pushing out. You want to push fairly hard. So I'm going to continue to blend this until I'm satisfied with how it's blended. So I'm going to fast forward the video, but continue working until you think it's blended enough. Okay, so once you have it all blended, it looks really good, by the way. Um, you're going to wipe off your whales. So these whale silhouettes are gonna stay on, um, but it might have gotten some pastel in it and that's okay. So you can get a paper towel slightly wet, just really damp, you don't need much water and you can just wipe it off. And it should come clean off. You might not even need water on it. Um, and it, the pastel should come right off. Okay, so once I've cleaned off little blue and papa, our art is done. So I hope you enjoyed and you can use these oil pastels to do other crafts. Maybe you can do some of the other pages in the book and I hope you enjoyed this craft book and discussion.